R E S M R Hello Welcome to A S M R Today we're going to do a chakra meditation The difference between a chakra meditation and a meditation that we did in our earlier reflection video is that instead of focusing on the breath we're going to focus on different areas of our body now which areas and what are chakras those are the two main things that I'm going to cover Chakra means wheel, and it's kind of like an energy wheel. So we have seven chakras, um, not necessarily all in our body. One of them is even not actually in our body. And they all have to do with different aspects of our energy. And by placing our attention into those areas and spinning those wheels, we are able to improve our well-being. And it sounds very different if you have never heard of this before. Um, not something that I immediately understood but when you look into it and you give it a shot uh, it, it really does work in my experience at least they all have their own color they all have their own type of energy and so I'm just going to walk us through those different chakras and what kind of color you might see you can actually see the color if you close your eyes uh, and in some cases I, I don't always see colors but a, a lot of times I I see these colors just pop up um, when I have my eyes closed or maybe a certain color pops up more than others and the main goal with the chakra meditation is to have all of the different chakras, all the different wheels spinning and uh, in a healthy balance with each other and some chakras may be overstimulated, some chakras may be understimulated by paying attention to these different areas in our body we'll be able to feel more balanced and so let's get into this with the first chakra which is the root chakra the root chakra is tied to the color red which makes sense um, the root chakra is concerned with a feeling of physical well-being physical safety your, your roots it's located at the bottom of your spine. Now, let's focus on the bottom of our spine. So, before, before we do this, I just want to let you know that you can sit down uh, in a chair, or you can sit cross-legged, or if you want, you can lie down, that's fine too. Do whatever works for you. You don't even need to sit down. You could be walking around for all I care. You you could be doing whatever you like. You can do a chakra meditation. All you need to do is guide your intention to the specific areas of your body. So let's focus on the root chakra. So the color red feeling of well-being it's at the base of your spine you can feel it at the 
with your tailbone. So one thing that I like to do is I like to spin the wheel. I like to spin it into the base of your spine just with your mind. It's kind of like how if you were to hurt yourself and you pay more attention to that specific area, the pain is more detailed. There's, you know more about the pain. Whereas if you're distracted, you would feel less pain. <laughs> Probably the best way I can describe it in a non meditation type of setting. So if you put your mind into the, the base of your spine and just feel around the base of your spine and try spinning your feeling, your scanning around the base of your spine. Just try spinning it as if there was a wheel there because there is one <laughs> and you might feel an interesting stimulating feeling so we're going to move up into the sacral chakra now we're going from the root chakra which is red up one chakra to the sacral chakra from the base of the spine we are moving up to the lower intestines so um, between your, your navel and the base of your spine so this area is orange and it's tied to creativity and it's also tied to sensuality and just you feel like you're producing something you can create life um, you can create a painting you can create with your sacral chakra and so here just focus your lower intestine and just try spinning there now just bring your thoughts into your lower intestine and spin them You can close your eyes if you like. You don't need to see anything. Feel free to breathe in deeply and exhale deeply. Just feel comfortable. Focus on that area in your lower intestine and spin it around. Whichever way feels good to you is a good way. If you need me to give you a way, then I'd say clockwise. Spin clockwise. If you're spinning a different direction, it doesn't matter. Whatever feels good. So, next, we're going to take it up from the lower intestine to the solar plexus chakra. Now, we've got the root chakra, the sacral chakra, now the solar plexus chakra. 
we've moved from red to orange and now we're going to yellow so the solar plexus chakra is just above the navel about two finger widths above the navel it is connected to your personal power the solar plexus is it uses sun energy in like if you were to do other energy work uh, solar plexus is connected to the sun and so it's where we feel good about ourselves we well, we've got our ego there um, it's a yellow energy and uh, it gives us our willpower and our strength so now just focus two finger widths above the navel and try giving that wheel a spin huh? how does that feel just spin it focus in that area And close your eyes. You might see yellow. Or maybe you see red or orange or yellow. I usually find at least one of the colors tend to pop up. It might not even be the color you're currently working on. So, so just spin it feel comfortable. Don't focus too hard. It's okay. We're just exploring here. There are no wrong ways of exploring these energy centers. If it's the first time that you're aware of them, it's going to be a good thing regardless. So, how's that feel? Spinning two finger widths over your navel, your solar plexus chakra. So then, let's move up. So, we've been in the root chakra, which you can spin at the base of your spine. Then, we move up to the sacral chakra, which you can spin at the lower intestines. So, your, your thought, your mind really is inside your body, right? So, just feel like you can really get in there. Like, don't, don't be shy or don't worry about just moving your attention fully to that area. And then move your attention up to the solar plexus chakra and spin around there. So we come from yellow, we go from, sorry, red to orange to yellow. And now we're going to move up to the heart chakra, which is green. And the heart chakra isn't exactly where the heart is. It's in the middle. So all of these chakras are aligned in the middle of your body and they go straight up so in the heart chakra it's right in the middle of your chest around the heart so right here and it's 
green chakra is connected to your love, um, your empathy. I find it useful in feeling guided, um, connected through your heart chakra. It's it's good to follow your heart. And so let's, let's spin that center part, Just spin it around, see how that feels. And just relax, just relax, and don't worry. It's... can be as easy as anything. Just spin your attention in the center of your chest. And now let's move up. So let's spin through the first chakras again. So we started in the root chakra, the base of the spine, it's red. Just spin at the base of the spine. Then we go to the sacral chakra, it's orange. Spin at the, the lower intestines. Then spin two finger widths above the navel, the solar plexus chakra. No spin in the heart chakra, center of the chest. This is very calming for me. <laughs> now, we're going to go up one chakra to the throat chakra. Now, this chakra is in the throat. It's right here. It's right in the throat, the base of the throat. It is a light blue color. So, you can think sky blue, and your throat chakra is connected to speaking your truth. So, not just knowing what you think is right, but also having the ability to speak it. Speak it truthfully, and being open, honest, and communicating what you feel is important. So, let's spin that chakra. Light blue. Just spin it. Just focus on the area and just move your attention around, just scan around in a circle and speed it up. Just yeah. A familiar feeling that you might have with Throat chakra is if you are in a tense situation or if you're stressed, um, 
Or you might feel a knot in your throat, right? Like a physical knot. And that's the thing with these energy centers is they, they are a real feeling. It's, we are not talking about some kind of idea here. We're talk, talking about feelings. And you can feel them. And you can see them with these colors. So with the throat chakra, if you were to have a knot, you would spin your throat chakra. Then you might find that the knot will loosen and relax and just go away. And so we're going to continue on. Uh, one of my favorites, the third eye chakra. Now, I think that the third eye is probably the most well-known <laughs> chakra uh, due to just popular media and that kind of thing. So where that is, is in it's right between the eyebrows and a good way to feel your third eye is just put your attention to the tip of your nose. You don't need to look at your nose. Just put your attention there and you might feel it start to tingle um, between your eyebrows. And I'm feeling it right now, so that's why I was laughing. Um, and the third eye chakra is indigo. It's connected to knowing. It's connected to a deep level of understanding. And... I think it's just a great chakra. I see the indigo color a lot when I do any kind of meditation or um, yoga or just any kind of energy work. I, I, I get that one probably the easiest. And you can do. Just put your awareness on the tip of your nose and just feel for it. Something that something that's funny that I'd heard somebody say in I can't remember when it was, it could have been any time this past decade. But they said that a third eye chakra is defaulted to look up to the sky. So something that I have done is to pretend that I have a literal third eye that's facing up to the sky and try to turn it. Just imagine it. Just imagine it. Try to turn it so that it faces forwards and out of that area between your eyebrows. It's, it's different, it is, but just give it a shot and see if it works or see if you enjoy that. I think the focusing on the tip of your nose is a little more neutral. So, how's that feeling? Let's, let's do another run through. So we started it in the root chakra, the red color. 
feeling of physical safety. physical health. Now we move up from the base of the spine and the root chakra. Let's give it a spin first. So spin, base of the spine. Now we go up to the sacral chakra, bottom of the intestines. Orange color. Power of creation. Now we go up to the solar plexus chakra and this is your personal power sun energy two finger widths above the navel spin it around next spin in the center of your chest with the heart chakra your connection to love, your connection to empathy, your connection to your guidance. Let's spin it. Next, go up to your throat chakra, the base of the throat speaking your truth light blue color spin it around and bring it up to the third eye chakra so center of the head third eye between the eyebrows focus on the tip of the nose Feel it come, activating between the eyebrows, piercing, kind of feels as if somebody's got their finger just a couple of millimeters away from your forehead, as if they were about to poke you but they're not touching you. Center of understanding, deep indigo blue. Now, you might feel profoundly relaxed right now. And if you don't, Feel free to take your time and pay attention to these areas as long as you like. Now we're going to continue to the last chakra, the seventh chakra. It's called the crown chakra. And these first six chakras first six energy wheels are all located inside the body. No, this one is not. It's just above the crown of your head. So it's kind of as if we are literally wearing a crown on top of our head. But this is a energy crown. Now, it is a purple color. I've seen it in lighter colors too, like violet. It's that connection to so, this comes out of the top of your head in the center, and then right above there, you've got your crown chakra. 
So just focus slightly over the crown of your head in the middle, slightly out of your head. Not small space there. So focus your energy there and just spin there. Spin it. And this connects you to everything, everyone around you. And the beauty of these chakras is that they're all interconnected. So we started in our physical, personal sphere of safety, feeling of well-being, um, the red color in your root chakra, the base of your spine, base of your spine is so primal and then it goes through to the sacral chakra which is also a highly personal form of creation and we move up through the solar plexus chakra which is moving into our um, our, our personal strength so we gain the strength and with that strength we move to our heart chakra and we empathize and we love and we are we, we are feeling more than just just us and then we go up to the throat chakra we speak our truth we communicate what is important and it moves up to the third eye chakra and we understand we understand by sharing and practicing our our truth our creation our feeling of well-being and then we feel connected going through the crown chakra we we are connected to our community we're connected to everything it's all very organic how these chakras how these wheels all work together and just feel comfort in knowing that this is always there for you it has always been pay attention to these energy centers, these energy wheels, these chakras, and give ourselves a tune-up by focusing our energy and spinning that energy. So, I feel like this has gone very well, for me at least, I feel very relaxed, I hope that you are able to enjoy this as well, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me them in the comments, um, you do not need to follow this video to do this you can do this on your own there are websites if you search for chakras um, that explain them in greater detail if you want and uh, there are also lots of other videos on chakras too and I can do more videos too if you would enjoy that so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that 
this is something that you could relate to uh, if there is any difficulty that you have in directing your energy and how to do that you can let me know and maybe I can try to come up with a, uh, a video on that so yeah I will see if I get any feedback anyway and if you need anything clarified feel free to reach out Thank you for joining, and I hope that this helps you rest. Good night.